Hey, yo. Oh, right. I completely forgot about this. Hey, how's it going, fellas? Playing the witness. I'm in the Tetronimo area. My favorite area in the entire game. Um, and... Oh, boy, this is going to be fun. I think this means they can rotate. So let me just do this. Um, oh, boy, I might be doing this wrong already. I think I'm doing this wrong already. Hold on. Uh, like, uh, um, what would a good view of this be like? I think like this. Yeah, there we go. So, if I sound a bit odd right now, um, I think I caught something. I have no idea what, but I've just kind of felt like my head's full of snot for a little while. Um, makes enough sense for me, because it just happens on occasion. I have talked about this before, that like a week out of the year, my head will fill with snot, and... Uh, I, I'm getting headaches this time around, but I should be fine. Um, on other news, I talked a bit about the Xanth book series yesterday, during the Batman Arkham City, right? Uh, and, um, just out of the interest of, like, full transparency and, like, truth and all that jazz, uh, uh, for one, I dropped off that series in the middle of book 15, um, and it's kind of amazing that it took me to the middle of book 15, because it really should have just been at the cover of book 15, <laughs> but, you know, I was a, a, a young lad, so, you know, um, oh, there's nothing over here, that's wacky, why did I even come over here? I'm gonna have to wait for this thing to change now. <laughs> Dang it. Ah, this is what I get, huh? But, um... I had mentioned that, uh... The Xanth books depict... Something... Unsavory, and I think I should maybe clarify that the scene in particular I'm talking about is a bit more euphemistic. At the same time, I'm not going to run to the defense of Piers Anthony because, I mean, as evidenced by another book that he wrote that I didn't read that I'm not even going to say the name of, he doesn't exactly shy away from very graphic depictions of, I'm going to keep using the euphemism of unsavory cunt, which is funny because I said it outright in the Batman episode, you know, I think I was a bit further in, so, uh, it was fine. I still kind of maintain that they're just, like, wacky books, and to some degree relatively harmless in all honesty. If you like puns, you like sword and sorcery, you might like them. Uh, if you have a... Uh... <laughs> I'm trying not to, I'm trying not to, like, <laughs> I'm trying not to either, I'm not, I'm trying to play both sides here <laughs> about this, like, friggin' 50-year-old book series that uh, relatively few people even know about, it seems like. Um, one of the main concerns that a lot of people have with Piers Anthony is that he has a terrible view of women or whatever. Um, I'm not going to say that having a terrible view of women is, like, a good thing at all, uh, but I, uh, would offer the however paper-thin, um, argument that, uh, Piers is merely writing a character. Because in my, uh, this, and again, I read these books, like, a while ago, uh, Let's see. Dragon on a Pedestal centers around a young girl. Like, really young. Like, a... Okay. Um, anyways. Some some of the characters I remember being, like, very competent. And I guess it's, uh... Y you can probably guess on the basis of, uh... Like, age, whether or not a character is gonna be... <laughs> uh... <laughs> is, is gonna be, um... Well, I hate to say in incompetent, you know? But just not very... How would I say this? How am I going to do this? Uh, it's probably going to be the same type of deal again, right? Oh, wait, no, that's a three. So I can do this... No, not quite. This is weird and wacky. Just a little bit. Hmm. Well, uh... How would I go about fitting these in here? Anyways. So, um, 
You know what, I'm stupid. There we go. So, yeah, uh, I, I'm not exactly going to sit here and sing you guys' praises because the, uh, the, uh, um, uh, um, uh, stuff I'd rather not talk about is euphemistic instead of out overt, you know? Uh, because again, the guy doesn't seem to really shy away from being overt in certain of his books, I guess you can call them. <laughs> I, I, I don't even feel bad saying that. Oh, I'm stupid. Hold on, all the way up. But, um, yeah, he's a wacky fellow. Uh, what was I saying? I feel like I'm saying something else. You know what it was? Uh, so, ooh, 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 I bet it'll work out just perfectly if I do this. Ha! -ha! Nice. Um, like, one of the, one of the kind of criticisms I find a bit more stupid of Anthony is that he... Um, has a terrible outlook on women, you know, and that's a fair enough criticism. But again, it's like I think he's writing a character a little bit, where like one of the more specific lines I kind of remember um, reading one of these reviews was that uh, I'm trying to remember what it was. Again, I'm not singing the guy's praises. I just think some of the some of the responses are a bit silly. Um, of course, that's not going to save me. <laughs> um, it was uh, some. It, it was like some like guy in his twenties or whatever. And again, I uh, the ages get a bit weird with it. Or like, I don't know if I can really find it believable that a guy in his twenties would still think this crap. But it was something along the lines of like, well, women are kind of weird because you know. If you saw their chest accidentally and you, you had a favorable reaction, like, uh, they'd probably be a bit flattered, but they'd still act really upset, you know? And it's, it's a shit take. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. It is a shit take. But, I mean, from the position of, like, um, I don't know, this is some, this is just some, like, 20-year-old or whatever. I don't even remember how, the, how old the guy was. I think it's He's actually 25, which makes it a bit weird, you know? And, again, I'm not going to sing the guy's phrases. He's a weirdo. <laughs> but, like, eh, I'm not going to, like, crucify the guy on the altar of he hates women. He seems to really love women. Um, a certain kind of women, more specifically. Uh, namely, very young women. So, yeah, that's its own problem. <laughs> That is its own problem, and um, I, I feel like that's maybe even more of a problem than uh, certain among his outlooks. How am I going to do this? Oh, jeez. I keep forgetting that I really should just... How would I do this? You know what? Okay, hold on. I uh, That works, because, okay, I don't know if you can see the reticle here. You got the three right here, the two on the sides, of course, and these right here. Very nice. I'm glad that that works as well as it does. Um, yeah. I've spent way too long talking about Piers Anthony. I really, I really kind of almost, well, not even almost, I just actually wish that I hadn't spent this long talking about Piers Anthony. He's, a, he's just a weird guy. Um, and... Really, like, it's not like the books are so amazing that it's, it's, again, really all that worth some of the guy's praises, does it? I don't know. Like, they're not, they're not the worst thing I've ever read, but that's not a high bar. <laughs> and sometimes they are, again, like, I have a hard time just leaving things, um... Like, leaving things alone. And, uh, by golly, this guy actually got me to stop reading a book right in the middle. <laughs> That's saying something. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Odd, odd, odd fellow. But, you know, I don't, uh, some of the, some of the weirder things I think are just weird. Well, whatever, um. 
what else can I talk about? I really wish that uh, Pierre Anthony's Xanth novels were not the only thing I had to talk about. Oh right, you know what? Um, did I mention did I mention the more specific scene for like the euphemistic crap? So okay, okay. Since it's this magic land, um, there's like there's not really like mm -mm -mm, you know it, it's like there's a stork and all that shit. So, uh, and it, it's weird because he plays it both ways when he uh, yeah kind of because like there's still there's. Uh, I hate explaining this just a little bit. Like, there's still, like, pregnancy. And there's still, like, you have, like, a, 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 a gut for nine months or whatever. That's like, the worst way of explaining pregnancy. Um, but it, it's not, uh, there's a, there's a stork that carries it over and then you just, like, magically don't have, don't have, like, your... Is there a word for it? The, um, not, and I don't mean the fetus. I mean, I know what the words are for, like, is, is there just, like, a word for the body shape? The whole pregnant body thing, you know, when you're pregnant and have a child growing inside of you? Wacky. Um, <clears throat> it's just weird, it's weird shit. It's weird shit. Um, and I'm, I'm not sitting here saying it's not weird shit. It is absolutely weird shit. This should work. Uh huh. Ooh. This is a wackier one. How? What? I feel like these are harder to do. Except harder to do at the same time, you know? I guess that works. Hey, cool. That was a bit simpler than some of the other ones. It's a hell of a lot simpler than coming to the defensive. Anyways, I keep making the joke, so I, evidently I keep want I, I still want to talk about it. I guess it's an, it's a, it's a friggin' hard read. It's a real hard read. Oh no, the two by three isn't rotatable. I can't rotate it. Oh jeez, that's terrible. How would I go about doing this then? I would love to go through here. Can't though. You know what? Um, <clears throat> no, that doesn't work either. You know what? How about um? Mm, that also does not. Work. There's so much crap I want to do that's just not gonna not gonna fly. I think. Um, huh. How would I go about doing this? Maybe something like that? Ooh, yeah, that works. Okay. Cool, cool, cool stuff. Good stuff. But yeah. Um... Oh, that's what it was. Okay. Kind of the last thing I'm going to say about Piers Anthony's Xanth novels. I was thinking about it. I was sitting on my bed thinking about it. Because I made, I made the parallel yesterday um, during the... Uh, uh, Batman episode, I made the parallel to, like, to Love Room, where I'm, I just don't know what the audience is supposed to be, because it's, like, semi-badass, um, sword and sorcery shit, and then, like, the most infantile humor imaginable. <laughs> um, oh, jeez, how am I gonna do this? So it just, it, it, it doesn't make much sense to me. Um, but I guess it doesn't need to make much sense to me. Or whatever. Literary types. I just don't get them. This guy's like Nabokov, but without any of the nuance. You know, uh, you know what? You know what? You know what? So you got the L part over here. Okay, never mind. That's not going to work. But you got the L part over here, right? And then um, connects into the other ones connecting to each other, right? And then I can't get back. Cool. Okay. I think this does have the right number of parts, though. Yeah, it does. God, this would have been a really nice solution if it worked. If it was actually a solution. It's not. Hmm. I'm getting better at this crap, at least. That's that's nice. That's something. Maybe... 
trying to rotate what I just did though. Like, um, uh, um, God, what did I just do? I just did this. All right. So if I want this to work, I would have to do it kind of upside down or just a full rotation. So kind of like this. Yeah! Oh my gosh. Oh, and the pump's working now. Cool. Oh, jeez, that thing's working real fast. God, these things are like magic. That thing is not running. That, that, this darn pump ain't near... Well, I guess it's just a motor, so the pump could be upsized, and there could be some wacky gear ratios going on. But, boy, did it just, this part drain out fast. Oh my gosh. Uh, what's this supposed to be? Okay. I thought for a second it was going to be easy. And then it wasn't. I mean, this looks like what the solution would be. Uh, maybe like that? Oh! Oh! I see! Those are like negatives. You add them together. That's so wacky and interesting, I'm sure. Uh... Um, yeah. Oh... This is... That works. Cool! And it, wow! An HVAC system. This is... This is actually pretty faithful. Okay, so... Never mind. Not that I have any experience designing ductwork, but it's kind of interesting to see exposed ductwork in this thing. Especially since it's underwater. Wait, hold on. This place was underwater. They have supply... They have supply grills on the side. They have open grill system HVAC. And this thing was under... That HVAC system is flooded, my man. I hope... Yeah, oh my gosh. That's that's kind of disappointing. I think I'm just going to have to end the episode from that. Well, anyways. Uh, on the next episode, though, more of these. Ooh, that's... Weird and wacky and environmental. That looks interesting, don't it? Wow. Till then, though... Like, comment, and sub scribble, or I will. That okay? You know what? I I think I might have to um, unsay that, A.K.A. completely remove that from memory. What are these things? I mean, we all kind of know what that was. Oh, how did I miss this? Whatever. Okay. Last puzzle of the day, I guess. You know what? This looks interesting enough to garner its own episode, and that'll be next episode, because it's going to take me a full episode. And by golly, my head hurts, alright? I was talking about some wacky guy that is 80 and is into 16-year-old girls, and... Oh, yeah. Uh, so that's another uh, another little review I read that uh, makes a lot of sense, you know, where it's like... Well, you know, uh, it, it's interesting reading about how hot 16-year-old girls are when you're 12, but then when you're more than 12 and you realize that it's like a 50-year-old man writing these descriptions, it gets a little weird. <laughs> and uh, I think that's a good place to, to um, I think it's a good place to leave off with any talk about Piers Anthony <laughs> on this channel. Um, so, yeah. Till next time, though, like, comment, and subscribe, or I will drop falling tetronomos on you until they uh, destroy your house or something. There's not a video... Is that a, I feel like that's been made. Whatever. Goodbye! Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.